from Los Angeles. It's the Tom Likas Show. That's it. The radio. I'll go on the most popular program of the day. I assume that's still Don McNeil in his breakfast club. Oh, give her the times, man. It's the Tom Likas Show. Oh, I don't think Mr. Burns would like that show. What's the matter? Think I'm not hip? And now, and now, here he is. Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. And um, Jana writes in and says the following. Hey, Tom, I need for you to explain to me why do men, or should I say pussies, go with their girlfriends to get their nails done? They sit in the salons holding the girlfriend's purse. Do they realize how much of a jackass they look like? I just want to slap them. If any of your listeners have buddies who do this, please tell them to stop it. Well, thanks. Love the show, Jana. Well, thank you for that, Jana. Appreciate it. And, um... That, of course, would not make for an hour of conversation. But it certainly gets us started here this hour because um, I agree. Any man who doesn't have something better to do than go to the nail salon and sit and wait for his girlfriend, that's a pussy. That man is whipped. Now, there are all kinds of things that men do to indicate... They are whipped. One we talked about recently, and that is uh, holding your girlfriend or wife's purse. You're whipped. Getting stuck in a conversation with your girlfriend or wife on the telephone while she's saying cutesy things on one end of the phone and you're expected to respond in kind, and you do, whipped. When you give in and stop watching sports on TV. I told you, I did this in a relationship a long time ago. I was hiding in my own house. I was watching uh, baseball in the back room. With the door closed. And suddenly uh, there was a knock at the door. What are you doing in there? What are you doing? Uh, nothing. Are you watching a game in there? What are you doing? I was whipped. I was whipped. That was the day I realized I was whipped. Speaking of games, I uh, was visiting uh, the home of somebody I know. And I remember he said to me the following. He said, um... He took me on a little tour of his place. And among the uh, places he took me was a, like a spare bedroom with a TV and a cable box or whatever. And uh, this guy said to me, um, this is where she lets me watch hockey. Whipped. Whipped! We've all been whipped at one time or another. But there are just certain things guys do that let you know they are whipped. So tell me. Tell me what things indicate that a guy is whipped. 
It's Ed on the Tom Like a Show. Hello. What's going on, Tom? Love the show. I'm uh, doing great, Ed. Thank you. Hey, when a chick tells a guy, yeah, we yeah, we might do something Saturday night. Yeah, we might hook up. And he puts off everything and just waits till 2, 3 in the friggin' morning for the call. Oh, God. He he's, we were going to go to this party in L.A., man. We we're going to take the train from San Juan up to L.A. and taxi to Hollywood. But this guy said, no, uh, I talked to so-and-so. Uh, we might go out tonight. And, uh, yeah, he waited and waited. I talked to him the next day. Waited till like, 2 in the morning. Got nothing. Yeah, well, that's what always happens in those situations. My God. But does it still count as wits, even if he hasn't even gotten any from her yet, but he's, like, working on it? I, that's still wits, isn't well, it? Well, it's still whipped, because you know what his motivation is. And, he, yeah, of course he's whipped. Yeah, I mean, and, and any guy that changes any of his normal habits for a chick is whipped. That, yeah, well. <laughs> hey, before you hang up on me now, take me out with the bong rip and it's followed by THX, please. Here you go, Ed. Five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Ways to tell a guy is whipped. Jason. Hello, Tom. Hello, Jason. How are you, Tom? Do you care, Jason? I do care. I'm doing great. I okay. I got this buddy. Every time we hang out, drinking a few beers at the pad, his girlfriend calls him about every thirty minutes, and then he has to leave the room and go in one of my one of the bedrooms and talk to her in private. Oh boy. And at one time, I actually put my ear up to the door, and I heard him mumbling stuff like, uh, "Oh, well, you, you know, you can't get mad about that." And you know, I'm just having, I'm just, I'm just hanging out. So. He's oh with, boy. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, when you're hiding in the other room for any reason, yeah. uh, to talk on the phone, to watch sports, anything, to drink a beer. <laughs> Take me out old school, Tom. Here you go, Jason. Five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Ways to tell a guy is whipped. This is John on the Tom Likas show. Hello, John. Hello, John. You know, my wife used to make me try to buy her tampons all the time at the store. I finally had to tell her, you know what? Buy your own damn tampon. Yeah, that absolutely true. Why would any man do that? It's like. Every time I would go to the store or stop by coming home from work, she'd always have me pick them up. It was like it was like she was afraid to buy them, and they were for her. Oh, God. I finally had to tell her, no way, Tom, take it. Wait, wait, wait. How did she react when you told her no? Oh, well, she finally just it got, it like hit her in the head, and she finally just says, oh, all right. She, she actually took it pretty well, so I ain't buying no more tampons. Good for you. <laughs> take me out old school, baby. There you go, John. 800-5800. Tom is our telephone number. Ways to tell a guy is whipped. It's Tom on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Tom. Hello, Tom. Any guy that tells you he can't get together to do something this weekend because he has honeydews, or any guy that tells you that he has to get a kitchen pass in order to do something. <laughs> so sick of these guys. My favorite is the one that uh, says, the guy who says he's got clearance from the tower. Yeah, yeah, I, I had to ask what the hell that was last time. I said, what's a kitchen pass? <laughs> oh, well, you know. <laughs> uh, take out with a bong rip on a happy 420, Tom. There you go, happy 420 there, Tom. It's Tony on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? Not much, Tony. How can you tell a guy is whipped? Well, see, here's the story. I got a, I got a good close buddy of mine, and when we're all sitting around, he talks about his girl and how, you know, he's got her whipped and how he doesn't care about her, yada, yada, yada. And then the second she comes around, this boy changes. I mean, you know, like, it's just complete swap. He turns into a, into a mush, into mashed potatoes. By the way, she and thinks it's the other way around. That, uh, the, the... It really is in actuality the, the other way around. Yeah. It's all a front to us so he can keep some, some of his masculinity left. But in actuality, it's, he's completely, completely sprung and whooped and has absolutely no control over the relationship. Yeah, you know that is. 
<laughs> but you know how it is, Tom. You know the powers of women, and they they can do that. They well, do that. all I can say is they better be a nine or a ten if if that's the effect. Well, I'm, in, I'm from California, and we've got a lot of those here. And you got your chunky monkey five over there, and uh, that's what's doing it. <laughs> that's a problem. All right, Tom. Take me out with a screaming orgasm. Here you go, Tony. Oh, oh God. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Rick on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Rick. Yeah, I got one for you. I went to a friend to uh, borrow some cash, and he actually said to me with a straight face that he had to talk it over with his wife first. <laughs> yeah. He didn't have to talk it over with her before he went out and earned the money, did he? No, I, I said, what, are you borrowed the money from her? He's like, no. Well, then why does she have to know what I'm doing? <laughs> <laughs> and he got mad. I'll bet he did. And then, you know what, if he did come home and talk it over with her, you know what she'd say. Rick, I hate that guy. I can't believe you want to lend him money. <laughs> I hate that guy. <laughs> no, you can't do it. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter who you are. That's what she'd say. Right. <laughs> hey, take me out Kate Faber. Kate Faber style. All right. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. She's here beats in my heart. Oh. In the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Oh. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Mark on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Tom? All right, Mark. Hey, man, I used to be so whipped, dude. I used to take dinner to my girlfriend at work just about every night. Oh, boy. That was bad news. Finally, I realized my pocketbook was getting sucked dry, and I wasn't, so I told her I ain't doing it no more. Oh, man. I, you know, I once got suckered into that for a period of time. I was, uh, I would always be passing by an Italian restaurant on the way to my girlfriend's house. Why don't you just pick up some lunch on the way over? Oh, well, then she started getting mad at me whenever I'd, I'd have something going on, have an appointment or something. She'd get all ticked oh. off at me because I didn't show up with dinner. And I said, hey, you know what? That's it. I ain't doing it anymore. No, you know which one I got? You know I don't like Alfredo sauce on my gnocchi. <laughs> you should know that. It was Beth Day. Senior or junior? Oh, uh, junior. He had to think about it. All right. It's Darren on the Tom Likas Show. We're trying to find out the ways you know a guy is whipped. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Darren. Second time caller, long time listener. Cool. Check it out, dude. I got a buddy. He is so pussy whipped that he has the cell phone ring to where when his girlfriend calls him, it says, Honey, this is your wife. Honey, this is your wife. I swear to God, it is so funny. We give him such a hard time, but you know what? Homeboy loves it. He'll put on a big smile and everything's hunky dory. Is, it, is it in her voice? No, it's just like like I think if you've seen the movie um, um Vanilla Sky, it's something like that, dude. Oh boy. Like it, it's so funny though, honey. This is your wife. We give him such a hard time. Thank you, Darren. No problem. Thank you, Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Aaron on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? All right, Aaron. Hey, my friend, uh, he, his girl won't even be there. And and he, we'll talk about all the stuff that she does to him because he's so whipped. He will get offended for her. She's not even there. Oh, my God. I can't believe you're saying that about her. She's really a good girl. Exactly. I mean... Oh. I mean, he will get he will get to a point where he will, he is ready to like throw down with his friends because we're just telling him that hey, she doesn't treat you right or she yells at you for stupid reasons, you know. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. Thanks. Take me with the blow me up, Tom. Here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. It's Ryan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Ryan. Happy 420 to you. Happy 420, baby. Um, I have, who was one of my best friends back in high school. He's now been dating this girl for three and a half years. And 
every time I want to hang out with him, he has to bring his girlfriend, which is just ridiculous. She's annoying and whatever. And then at the same time, when she's there, she gets all lovey-dovey, and she's like, give me a hug. And, this, and he falls into it and goes and sits there and hugs her whenever she asks and just does anything she wants. It's wow. ridiculous. Oh, boy. Yeah, he's beyond the point of wit. It's getting disgusting. Yeah, it sounds like it. one 800 800 tom Vincent on the Tom Like His Show. We're looking for the ways you can tell a guy is whipped. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hello. Vincent. Yes. Hey, you know, the worst thing to me is that you see the guy in the men's room at the baby changing station, and he's got not only the kid with the diapers, but another one running around his feet, and his old lady's out in the store shopping. Oh, God. Like... You know what? Just kill me. Oh, exactly. Kill I mean, me. it's like uh, you should have got a vasectomy at age 12 if you knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Take me out old school, Tom. Here you go, Vincent. one 800 800 tom is our telephone number. Quamel, you're on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Oh, uh, yeah, second time, baby. Yeah, let me give you this one. Okay, I make hip-hop right now. Let me put you on to my partner. Now, this cat, he he called me and was like, yeah, let's get together Monday, man. We're going to make a little something, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting like, yeah, cool, I'm, I'm ready. I'm with this. Like, I'm going to rhyme me everything. Now, as soon as I get at this cat, I'm like, all right, what's up? What's going on? He's like, uh, I'm watching movies with my wife. Like, he had to emphasize, he got a wife. I'm like, I know you got a girl, man. Don't you start with me. Oh, man, let me tell you, this cat's even worse. Man, it's like, okay, he, he leaves the woman because she's going to, like, get married. He, she wanted him to marry her or else she's going to abort his child. Now, the woman had a miscarriage. They broke apart. All of a sudden, a year later, he marries her anyway. He's going through the same thing. The boy is whipped. Oh, man, that's bad. Horrible, man. Hey, please, give me a shotgun. End it with an old school. Here you go, Quamel. Five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. These are the ways you can tell a guy is whipped. It's Jaime on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hola, Thomas. <laughs> Hola, Jaime. Como estas? How are you today? Uh, so far, so good, baby. <laughs> nice, nice. Hey, listen, I have a friend that we went to college together. We used to do everything. Hello. I'm right here. Oh, I'm sorry. We used to do everything together. We used to go to strip club. We used to go out dating. And then, like, four years ago, he got married. We used to play golf still, and then when, after a month after he got married, we uh, we used to call him and go, hey, let's go play golf. He goes, yeah, let's go play golf. And then Sunday morning, I would meet him at the golf course. He never showed up, and I would go, hey, what's, where, where are you? I would call his house, and he goes, oh, dude, uh, well, my wife told me it was early to go play golf. I can't go right now. Let's do it later. Let's do it later. Oh, God, I hate that stuff. I hate it. The Tom Likas Show. Thank you for tuning in. Here we are together again on the radio. And we're asking you to call in and tell us the ways you can tell a guy is whipped. Julian on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hope you're feeling good on this 420. Feeling good, baby. Feeling good. All right. Forget this, right? You know you're hanging out with your boys and you're drinking some beers and uh, the cell phone rings. And he picks up the phone, and you're all barking and everything, and then all of a sudden, he puts on the phone voice. What, oh, what is that? Hi, baby. Hi, hi. How are you? And he's all soft and whipped. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know? You oh, know? Yeah. I mean, he's, he's fronting all hard and everything all, all before that, but uh, he gets on the phone with his girl, and you know, everything changes. Yeah. But, but, but again, my suspicion is that uh, the reality is you're getting the fake voice. That voice he does on the phone, that's the way he is all day long. That's a very interesting point you make, Tom. I think you're kind of right there. I think you're kind of right. He's, uh, he's, oh. he's butchered it up for you. Yeah, all right, I'm boys, not... come on. Let's go to the game. Hey. Yo, Tom, oh, hello, me. sweetie. It's so good to hear from you. Honey, <laughs> sweetie. Take out with a rip, Tom, for the day. Here you go, Julian. <laughs> No cough. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Jake on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, what's going on, babe? Not much, Jake. Not enough, babe. Hey, I got two of them. The first one is this, this is a guarantee you can take this to the bank. If you see a car with a man and a woman, and they got a couple of kids in the back, and the man 
is in the passenger seat, the woman's driving, he is whipped, guaranteed. Oh, boy, for, for any number of reasons, not the least of which is he has to, like, he's the one in charge of reaching back and wiping those crumb crunchers' mouth back there. <laughs> Exactly right. He's the one who's going to change a diaper in transit. That's it. And the other one, this is this is a true story. Yeah. My mother's husband, of course, is not my father, but uh, of course. she announces that she trained him to sit down while he takes a pee so he didn't splash all over the toilet. Oh, so not only did she do it, but she has to further emasculate him by announcing it to everybody else. Exactly. And not only that, but he uh, just goes along with it instead of saying, that's it, I'm not doing it anymore. Yeah, he just does it. You know what? I mean, it's a role that they both know is, is the way it is. He knows he's whipped, and I think that's the role he doesn't mind playing. And uh, she couldn't put up with my dad because he was a little bit firmer in that area. So, you know, I mean, he, he never stood for that crap. Boy. You know. Yeah, you know he, he, but he stood, he stood to take a peek. <laughs> <laughs> take me off the old school, Ben. All right, Jake. Here you go. one 800 800 Tom is our telephone number. Jason on the Tom Likas show. Hello. What's up, Tom? Ah, uh, much, Jason. First time caller. Thank you. Um, I got one for you. My buddy, uh, him and his girlfriend were going out for maybe like eight months, and uh, she got tired of him. They broke up, but uh, he still calls her pretty much every day. Can't get over it. He's calling her all the time, trying to hang out with her, that kind of stuff. Just way whipped on her. It's terrible, man. Oh boy. That's the worst. Wow, boy, when you're whipped by your ex, that's really bad. Yeah, that is probably the worst. All right, Jason, thank you for that. It's uh, Dan on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Daddy? Not much, son. How you doing today? I'm doing okay. Excellent. Hey, my buddy is so whooped that he let his girlfriend bring home stray kittens. Every time, oh. she, gets, every time she gets all soft inside, she shows up with a new little cat, and he lets his house get filled up with the... You know, all that. Oh, God, his house smells like a big litter box? Oh, it's horrible. I told, everything's pink. The cat's got pink collars. A bunch of cats running around in my roommate. Oh. Know, ex-roommate. He just sits there and takes it, man. He By is- the way, a message to all you uh, cat lovers out there. Uh, and cat lovers seem to love to wear sweaters for some reason. I don't know why that is, but you ever notice their sweaters are covered in cat hair and smell like their homes, which always smell like a litter box, with, with few exceptions. Oh, that's him, man. Hey, Tom. Yes. Will you take me out with the crazy screaming Latino bong hit? The, okay, here you go. Thank you. Latino Juchera! 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Dana on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. I think I got the atom bomb of all situations for the weenie boys out there. What's that? That would be the fools out there who take the woman's last name. Oh, God, I don't know anybody like that, but we've had those guys call in here. Oh, my God. I don't see why you have a problem with that. I mean, <laughs> I care about my wife. My wife's name. She, Her name has been in the family now for 50 years at least. She wanted to keep her name, and, and I wanted to honor her by, oh, stop. I know. Just... Uh... Millions of years or however long you want to say men been claiming that right and just to give that up for no reason just makes me sick. God, I hate it. Chris on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. What up, Chris? I was so whipped. Whenever we, uh, my ex and I used to go someplace, she would not let me listen to the radio. Wouldn't let you listen to the radio? She said... Uh, we hate women wanted, like that. She wanted to talk. But doesn't she get other chances to talk to you? Obviously not enough. When she's, like, harassing you or nagging you about something? Oh, my God, constantly. Or constantly complaining that uh, everything you do is wrong and you never listen to her and everything she says is right? Oh, my God. It was just absolutely terrible. Mm. And she's my ex now, so it's all good. She's sitting there talking to herself in the car. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm listening to the radio. Uh, yeah, man. Because <laughs> she's lonely. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Hey, man, take me out old school. Here you go, Chris. Tom Like It. 1 800 5800 Tom. We'll break it down for him. Tom Like It. 1 800 5800 866. It's just a phone call away. Tom like this show at 1-800-5800-TOM. 
We're looking for the ways you can tell a guy is whipped. Mike on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Mike? All right, Mike went away. Let's say hi to Chris on the Tom Likas show. Hello. All right, Chris went away. Let's say hi to Brian on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom, this is Brian. I know, I just said that. Hey, I just wanted to let you know I got a brother that's so wet, I wasn't even invited to his wedding. Neither were uh, either one of my parents. Why not? Huh? Why not? It was uh, her choice. She didn't... Uh, Did she give a reason? No, she didn't even let anybody know that uh, that they were getting married till after they got back. Her parents went, but but we weren't invited. Tell they had a kid last week, and uh, or last year they had a kid, and the kids even got her last name. Oh God, <laughs> that's like she's planning for the divorce when she's the single mother and having him send checks. Oh. Oh, she she was a single mother when they got together, Tom. Of course she was. <laughs> and she now, will be again as soon as she gets her claws into his bank account. Oh, that's already long happened. and uh, Yeah, but it's one thing. At least he's getting some sex out of it occasionally. Wait until she's gone, and he's continuing to pay. And that's exactly what I've told him. I've been uh, preaching you to him ever since I can remember, and uh, he just won't get it through. <laughs> Brian, thank you for the call. It's Mark on the Tom Likas Show. How's it going, Tom? Doing okay, Mark. All right, man. I got all these guys beat here, dude. All right, dude. My cousin threw a baby shower for another one of his web friends. Wait a minute. This is a, this is a guy? Yeah, my cousin's a guy. You're, all right. I didn't know. Oh, my bad. My bad. All right. So, so, yeah, so a, a guy in your family, your male cousin. My male cousin threw a baby shower for his other Friend. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah, dude. And so, what did all the guys come over there and uh, what exchange Tupperware? What did they do? I guess it was just him and his other buddy and a whole mess of chicks, dude. Wow. It was yeah. I, I dude, everyone, in my whole family just rags on him for that. You know, no one really likes this, his wife, anyways. You know, she, she has a big mouth and she talks crap to everyone in our whole family. But he sits there and takes it. When we're sitting around playing poker and stuff like that, he just, I mean. He must have oh been very God. good in bed at one time. Yeah. Yeah, well, dude, and the other thing is, this is his first, um, he's my age, I'm 23. This is his first um, person he ever had sex with. Of course. That's how that happens. Yep. So how many guys uh, do this? <laughs> All right, Tom, I just wanted to know you hear that. Uh, can you take me out with a Kobe Bryant and a Puerto Rican? Do you shut up? We don't have Puerto Ricans. We have Latinos. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. This is so special to me. Oh. You can hear beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. This is so special to me. Oh. Oh. Latinos, you shut up! 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? All right, Mike. Hey, just want to let you know, we went to your show last Friday here in Portland, and we had a blast. Oh, good. Um, loved it so much. We're going to the Seattle show as well. All right. And, uh, hey, calling about, you know, these guys that are whipped, we had a situation regarding your show. A uh, buddy at work, we asked him if he wanted to go. We had an extra ticket. He said, you got to ask my wife. Oh, my God. He said said it. Like, we just looked at him and said, you know, we shouldn't even be asking you to go in the first place. Come on! I, 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 it's, it's horrible. Honey, <laughs> you know that show you really hate, the Tom Likas show? Well, he's in town doing a live show, and I was wondering, you know, because the guys are going, you know, I was wondering if they had an extra ticket. I was wondering, and, and you can say no if you want to, of course, but uh, I was wondering if I could uh, go. He couldn't even ask his wife. I had to ask her for him. And you had to ask. Yeah, and she told me no, of course. If he's not, you know. No, oh, please. That's not the kind of thing you ask. You tell. Well, I'll tell you what. She apparently knows who wears the pants in that family. Yeah, no doubt about that. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's Brian on the Tom Likas show. We're looking for the ways you can tell a guy is whipped. Brian. Oh, this is Eric. Oh, I'm sorry. It says Brian on the screen. Go ahead, Eric. Hey, how you doing? Long-time listener, first-time caller, Tom. Thank you. 
Um, yeah, you want to know, I was whipped. Uh, ex-girlfriend of mine told me that I couldn't listen to your show. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, and, and, and you uh, went along with that? Well, she's my ex, Tom. Oh, okay. I didn't know how long you put up with her before you realized you were whipped. Oh, no, that's when I realized, and that's when I said, uh, no. <laughs> no. He warns me about girls like you. Oh, yeah, that's exactly right. Dad, what was her reaction to that? Uh, I don't know. Get a, get a stunned face. I, I mean, any 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 bitch's reaction to a stupid look on their face, you know? It was, it was oh, that's what happens when you're stupid. <laughs> One eight hundred five eight hundred. Dumb. I wouldn't go for a guy just because he had money, because you know he might be a jerk. You would if you uh, were a nine or a ten. Why? Because if you're the more beautiful you are, the stupider you are. Bingo. Sound like a show at one eight hundred five eight hundred. Dumb. We're looking for the ways you can tell a guy is whipped. It's Aaron on the Tom Likas show. Hey, Tom, what's up? Not much, Aaron. I uh, got a good one for you. Mm. I bought my husband and his best friend tickets to the Sonics game, and his wife wanted to be down there after the, as soon as the Sonic game was over to meet her husband at a bar. And we met there, and then as soon as we knew it, they left us there. We, they just left me and my husband there. They just ditched us my back of Bay Bridge. Oh, no. Uh, it was funny. I mean, I was, I'm like all up for my husband to have a good old time. And I get to do whatever I want. We have a, you know, decent thing going. We get to do our own thing. And she didn't, she wanted to take him back, or she said he was sick or something. Oh, my God. But she's like that. She she wants to be there, you know, be part of it all the time. She's a good girl. She just wants to be there all the time. All the time. 100% of the time. What's that? 100% of the time. Exactly. And I, I'm perfectly fine this uh, little bit of alone time. I love my alone time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. Thank you. Appreciate the call. We're looking for the ways you can tell a guy is whipped. It's Jason on the Tom Likas show. Tom, what's going on, buddy? Not much. All right, I got the number one way right here. It's if a guy goes with his girlfriend to see chick flicks, like if he's going to see Mona Lisa Smile or Cold Mountain, that's when you know when he starts going to see that crap. <laughs> Bridget Jones's Diary 2 yeah. or whatever. I mean, how do you get a guy to go see that movie? You must be getting laid every night, or I'm not sure. Uh, you know what? I don't think there's anybody that good in bed. Okay, because I'm just making sure no one you know is going to see those stupid movies. Oh, I've known people who do that, but I can't bear it. It's terrible, man. Can you take me out uh, with uh, Bonger? Here you go, Jason. This is Richard on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey. hey, Tom, how you doing? Okay, Richard. Good. I'm going to tell you this. I got a partner of mine that's so whipped. This guy worked two jobs, got off every night at 11 o'clock, and went home and washed his, wa his wife's car at 11 o'clock because he didn't want her to ride, ride around in the dirty car that day. No. I'm serious as a heart attack. How about eight bucks to the car wash, huh? Hey, he was too scared to tell her that. He he was so whipped, Tom, that before I can come over to his house, he used to have to ask his wife if it was okay for him to have people over. And he, if she wasn't at home, she had to call him on the cell phone, on her cell phone. Oh. Ah. Again, I, I can only say just kill me. Just put a gun to my head and blow my goddamn brains out. And this is the bad part about it, Tom. The guy is 50-something years old. Oh, Jesus. That reminds me of the guy I knew, somebody I grew up with, who was the most outrageous guy in high school. This guy was unbelievably outrageous. First guy to own a motorcycle. First guy to own a car. I used to do crazy things like drive on people's front lawns, and he was just completely out of control. This is the guy who once um, put a, um, like a wind-up alarm clock in his locker at school and then taped a sign to the outside of his locker that said, The bomb is in here. <laughs> and they shut down the whole second floor of the school while they, the, the bomb squad came in. <laughs> and uh, so like, you, you just know how wild this guy was. He was such a good friend and everything. And I remember the time I called after I had, you know, I left home to go to college. And he uh, he got married. And I called him at his home. And I got his wife on the phone. I said, hello, uh, can I speak to Henry, please? And the woman says to me, what is this in reference to? Oh, 
my God. She's like screening his calls. Now, that's how you know a guy is whipped. Tell you what. Unbelievable. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. 